Each day my kingdom feels as if it has been refreshed. You are certainly a talented individual. Hello and welcome to another video where we embark on the captivating journey through the ages of Rise of Cultures game. Now, we are at the moment at Classic Greece. It's our fourth part of the Classic Greece adventure and we're gonna dive into further world map what it's gonna bring us. Now, firstly, we have acquired this region and let's see what is there. I see the fool Leonidas has fallen at your feet. If you feel his addition to your force will help you, it merely makes me angry. Now, Xerxes is not happy that Leonidas joined us. Welcome to Stormy Outback. We're just gonna dive into the battle on the bottom right here and just dive into it. These battles I have prepared fully for them. We don't need that, but at the moment the game didn't ask us, but during this time I was fighting my previous battles, I unlocked heavy infantry and I unlocked new cavalry. So what we want to do here, I'm just gonna tell you what it for everything because here as you see we start getting a lot of enemy cavalry and it's good when you have enemy cavalry here so the point of the heavy cavalry is that these guys they're full here and they block enemy cavalry's way so if you put them for example here and archers behind archers are safe enemy cavalry will not hit them just because they're protected by your heavy infantry that's the idea how it works and now we're gonna put our troops I'll put some cavalry here and we'll just gonna dive into the battle. Let's start off. Congratulations, we won this battle. As you see, I did it on purpose. I put my archers this way so that the enemy first a little bit attacks them. Now, this was a good win. We have a lot of troops survived, basically, and RNG was also in our favor. 3,500 Egyptian coins for this. The next battle for the Stormy Outback is going to be the one on the bottom left. We're gonna dive into this one right away. Now I need to tell you the main minus of the heavy infantry is that these guys have a 45 minute repelishment time. I don't know why it has to be so much, but it's insanely big amount of time just to repelish one unit. Okay, there are four there, but still. 45 minutes to make them. Unless you put some happiness on the building, which I don't do, because I would better use my happiness on my farms and my houses. So here, all basically the same, but I will do with a little bit of different tactic here. We're gonna stack up troops like this and put a heavy infantry just in the face of this cavalry. And that's it. And we forget about that cavalry there. And so I will put my horses in the back here. And then we're gonna put some archers right behind the heavy infantry. Now let's start off the battle. Congratulations, we won this battle. As you see, this time I played differently, therefore my archers fully survived, but this time I lost my heavy infantry and lost my cavalry. So this can be played both ways. If you want, you might lose a little bit of archers, but then more army of yours will survive, just like I did in my first fight tactic. This is the second way around. This is more safe, because in the last time, archers might die off at least one pack, and we would lose a lot of damage if that would happen. So 19 and 500 food for winning that battle. I feel it is time to give back something to my people. Be it masks or ceremonial dresses is for you to decide. The last battle for the Stormy Outback is going to be, of course, this one on the top. It's the last battle of the region. We, get, we will get one expansion for Egypt and one for the main city, which is absolutely amazing. Let's start off with this uh, battle. We can do it this time completely other way around play this the way we like we're still gonna win this these battles are super easy to do but 
I like to experiment from time to time. If you saw my Alliance Treasure Hunt 2.0 videos, there are like literally archers in front in some battles just to the maximize the space usage and we win these battles. So sometimes I like to do the experiments how that would work out. Congratulations, we won this battle here. Outstanding, this was pretty easy, very safe game. We again lost heavy infantry, so I would suggest everyone to stack up those heavy infantry replenishment tokens so you don't have to wait 45 minutes each time you lose them. So now it's 4,500 Egyptian coins for winning this region, and let's see what Xerxes has to say for it. You seem to relish victory like a dog relishes a bone. Both do not last as long as you think. As usual, not happy guy. It's very good, bad when you're in a bad mood constantly, you know. So, new expansion unlocked. We get uh, Egypt and the main city, and that's it. And we can scout the next uh, region. We have discovered new region. Let's see what he has for us. Now, my empire has lasted centuries. We will cut you down to size easily. Here we meet Xerxes again. We get a four round battle for regions to acquire in this part of the map and we'll just dive into the bottom one as usually we do just here as you see we got some cavalry a lot less than before we had two infantry and three archers so it should be pretty easy as usual we're gonna just put our troops probably we will not use here the heavy infantry just the cavalry and the infantry to block the cavalry's pass and that's it let's start the battle Congratulations, we have our first victory. These battles are a lot easier than the ones we fought before in this video. Now let's see what we have for this. 32,000 gold here. We continue our advance in sultry wilderness and we'll go to the battle on the right as we usually do. Gonna be all the same as the previous one, but as you see this time they switched cavalry on the right. Ain difference between them, all the rest is completely the same. So it's gonna be pretty easy to do. We're just gonna put our archers and put our cavalry in the very, very back, and that's it. Let's start off the battle. Congratulations, we won this battle. This battle went pretty easy for us, and now we want 20,000 food for winning this battle. There is still much to do for my people, but they will provide in response to your actions. Let both of our cultures enjoy the fruits of your labors. The next battle for the sultry wilderness will be the one on the left. This battle here, all the same as usual, cavalry are, is now back on the left, but the infantry is now lined up here, so nothing changes for us. We're gonna play the first tactic we played in the first battle of this region. I'm gonna just put the archers and put the cavalry. The game is sometimes weird and puts my cavalry in the weird way. Okay, let's start off the battle. Congratulations, we won this battle, it was pretty easy, we got a lot of troops survived. And let's head into the map and see what we got, 34,000 gold for winning this battle. The last battle for the region, Sultry Wilderness, will start here on the top. We're gonna dive, as usual, in, and we see that usually no changes, but this time cavalry is split on the left and on the right. So, we're gonna just go the same way, either way because there is little we can do to change the fact that it's going like this. Of course, we can put here, for example, the cavalry. They will then be counted as the second line units, but we would not have space for the archers. Therefore, let's put it just the same way and see how it goes.
Congratulations, another easy win. This region was very, very easy. We almost lost nobody, like of the heavy troops. Just one cavalry and infantry, but it's as usual. And we got 2,100 Egyptian coins for winning this one. And let's see what Xerxes has to say for it. There are wins and losses. It is how we learn to turn the tide of battle. That counts. Be ready. He is telling us to be ready for the next trial we're gonna have battles against them we got a egypt expansion two of them and 25 gears congratulations to us now let's explore the next land and on this note i thank you all for watching if you like my content hit like subscribe for more leave a comment and i'll see you on my next video